Let's talk about the AZ700, Azure Certification for Networking Professionals. Hi, my name is Simon. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to NetCafe with Simon, where we discuss everything networking related. In today's material, I would like to share some of my impressions and experience from AZ700 exam that I took one week ago. And by passing the exam that is called, it has a, such a long name, Designing and Implementing Microsoft Azure Networking Solutions exam. Thanks God they didn't ask me about this name of the exam during the exam. And by passing the exam, I successfully gained Azure Network Engineer Associate certification. I would like to share with you, as you are, might be a community interested in passing also this exam, some of my experiences from the examination. I will share with you some study tips, material that I used, how much time did I, uh, does it take to, to prepare for the exam. And of course, remember that if you have any questions that you still would like to ask me, drop me a comment in section down there. and. Remember also, please, to subscribe to this channel because it helps me to, to grow the community and make better materials for you. Let's discuss briefly what is AZ700 so you can also know where does it fit on the sort of roadmap from, from Microsoft when we look at the other certifications. So basically, AZ700 is a certification for the professionals who work with Azure networking services such as, for example, VPN services, Express Route, if you're setting the network security groups, firewalls, if you are responsible for establishing the connectivity between, for example, cloud and on-premise services, this certification will be a perfect fit for you. We can see that the Azure Network Engineer Associate is here, and this is part of the managed hybrid cloud infrastructure domain together with the Azure Administrator Associate or, for example, Security Engineer Associate. So if you are more on the management of the hybrid infrastructure, this is the certification that might fit your profile. What I would like to also point out here is that if you are an engineer working with Azure, more from the best-in-class apps, how this is how Microsoft how is calling it, or if you work with the data science and analytics, that might not be necessarily the best fit for you and your skills. But of course, I would always argue that learning something new is, is, uh, is a good thing. So once again, if you are on the networking management, uh, sort of hybrid uh, cloud management side, then of course, I would strongly recommend you to, to take this examination. Mostly, I would say that the examination is for engineers who are already working with cloud or would like to move to cloud. So if your role is a networking engineer or DevOps, solution architect, cloud administrator, or a security engineer, this is something that you should definitely consider in your cloud journey. We also have the dedicated page on uh, Microsoft Learn for this examination, and we can see all the professions that are that the certification is designed for we can schedule the exam either by uh, in the test center or we can take it from home the cost is 165 dollars unfortunately i haven't uh, heard about any vouchers for this certification i was lucky enough to pass my azure fundamentals for free because i was eligible for for voucher but it was the fundamentals level right so this one is already associate level and for the associate levels like uh, Azure um, security or uh, engineer or administrator, we would need to pay 165 bucks to take the exam. I took, it, the, took the exam from the test center. It was actually a very pleasant experience, but maybe next time I would actually consider taking from home as it would be always another experience. Okay, let's now focus on how difficult really the examination was. I have found this certification roadmap for you released by Microsoft. We can see that AZ700 is not the fundamentals level anymore. It is the role-based certification. So it's a little bit more into depth of Azure. And of course, the difficulty level depends on how much previous experience you have with both networking and with Azure. So in my case, I started my Azure journey January this year. And after three months, I passed the AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals. Then I took three months of uh, deserved, well-deserved break. 
and then in June I started to started the preparations for the AZ 700. So after three months of the of, of study, I took the I successfully took the exam and passed in the first try. So it also so I had some Azure experience, but not that much. But on the other hand, I have also passed Cisco CCNA certification, so I already had very solid networking basis. In the perfect world, I would say that if you know, you should know what is, for example, network address translation, what is IP routing, how you use these protocols to build your networks, because the curriculum and the content of the AZ700 is not really about explaining the networking basics. It's more how you use the specific, uh, how you use Azure networking to build your network. So there is not that much sort of explanation of, for example, what is DNS, what are the records in DNS, what is firewall. It is, it, it is explained, don't get me wrong, but it's explained in the Azure networking or Azure services context. It's not explained as a sort of in general telecom slash networking layer. And uh, I would strongly recommend you to first to build your, your st strong networking core. But getting back to the question, so how difficult really it was. So having all this experience that I have, for me, it was relatively fair exam, but it was more on the difficult side. So even having both Cisco CCNA and Azure and the AZ900 certification, it was still a stretch for me. I, there was a lot of tons of new stuff that I had to learn. And it was it was quite difficult. When I uh, as I far as far as I remember, the que the the questions were brought touching all of the parts of the curriculum. So I started first with the A B C D multi choice questions. Then I had a case study, and then finally my favorite part actually. So I had some labs, and not that many, but still it ha it was the full package of the. Of the of the exam, right? Let's talk also a little bit about the content of the of the examination. So you what you have to review before you jump into the examination. Microsoft also prepared this uh, list for us. What is the the content of the of the examination? So we first have the core networking services. We have a manage connectivity services. We have the application delivery services. As I said, it's not about developing app, but it's more on the managing of the infrastructure to deliver the apps. So we'll jump into the details in, in one second. Private access, but only 5 to 10%. I didn't have that many questions about the private access. And then secure network connectivity, which is also a great base if I would like to also later on to extend my skills into the Azure security certification that I will definitely, definitely take. When we see deep dive into the specific parts of the, of the curriculum, so when we talk about the network, networking infrastructure, core services, this is really the starting point for you. So you need to know how to establish the virtual networks, how you set up the IPs, which IP SKUs you should use, how to assign services, how to set up the routing, how to set up uh, DNS. So a lot of, I would say, classic networking skills. Then. Of course, very important, which is the manage connectivity services. This is very important. So here we have uh, VPN services mostly. Side to side VPN, we have a point to side for the private users. Very important part of it is the express route. That is also a very interesting product from, from Microsoft to establish the connectivity, secure connectivity between, for example, on-prem and cloud site. We have, so we have point to side VPN connectivity, express route, as I said, all you need to know about the, the, the express route, so the different SKUs and tiers and different implementations. So we have a global reach, we have a fast path, private peering, Microsoft peering, and all of that related to, to, to express route. Azure Virtual WAN, very pleasant topic to, to learn, very interesting uh, part of the piece of the technology. Then we have a, application delivery. So all the things that you need to implement if you want to build the reliable access to your services. So here it's mostly 
load balancers. Azure have a different, Microsoft prepare different bala balancer uh, services for, for you to, to use in, in Azure. We have application gateway, we have an Azure load balancer, traffic manager, so front door, of course, Azure front door. So you need to know the differences, different SKUs. Fourth uh, segment is the ac private access to Azure services we have a private link private endpoints how to make sure that your apps one while well, up once developed is uh, you can securely connect to it so uh, this is where you can use your private endpoints and private private links there is not that much focus in this exam it's not the most important part of the whole circle but it's still very interesting to lab very interesting to to play around and of course net network security secure connectivity here, of course, you need to focus on network security groups. So what are the default security group? How to set up default group? What are the differences between the uh, different sort of configurations of the, of the network security groups? If you are from, the, from Cisco world, you might know access control list is something similar. You also block or allow traffic based on the different ports, services, or IPs, for example. Question number four. So here I would like to briefly discuss the materials that I have used to prepare for the exam. So I basically use this page. It's excellent online class released by Microsoft. It's completely for free. You don't need to pay for anything. You have also labs that are instructor based and you are being shown how to sort of move around in Azure, how to set up different, for example, firewalls options or uh, um, load balancers. So this type of stuff, I definitely recommend you to as the first thing to go through this online course. Then apart from that, I also bought the Udemy class from uh, Scott Duffy. Uh, Asian networking e exam prep. Le all the links are in the description for, for this video. Final remarks and some tips. So first of all, you have to know your SKUs. The products, they have a different versions. You need to know in which, the, in which case you need to propose which flavor of the solution, which, which sort of SKU you need to select as they have a different pricing, they have a different capabilities. So there is no need to use more, much more advanced SKU that is uh, having this huge capacity if you have uh, your traffic is on the very low level. Someone can argue that this sort of the recommendations of the product might be more on the network or architect side rather than engineer side because this is not the architect level, this is the engineer associate level exam however i would always say that uh, you know it's always a great exercise to for you to learn how what is more what your work might be in the future if you decide to go into the more architectural side of the uh, of the solution so first thing is to learn your skills learn the versions of the product so uh, because there might be a lot of questions uh, there might be some questions sorry uh, during exam when you can be asked about which sort of the version of the project you can recommend. Secondly, I uh, strongly recommend you to lab it up. Use your Azure profile, use, your, uh, use the portal to lab the solutions. So as I said before, uh, the um, page that I use for studying uh, released by Microsoft, it has excellent online labs. So go together with instructor on your Azure profile, click it through. Azure is very pleasant platform to, to work with. You, you select the product, you configure it, and then you release it, bam, now suddenly you can have an Azure log load balancer with the 10 VMs in the backend pool. So that's in a, just a great thing to, to spin it up uh, very quickly. And well, that's, that's it, I think. I wish you all the best in your Azure journey, in your cloud journey. Drop me a comment if you have still some more questions. And of course, please remember to subscribe because it will just help me tremendously to grow my channel. Thanks, bye.